റേഡിയോ ഏഞ്ചലോസ് പ്രസൻസ് മേയർ ഓഫ് ദ ഹാൻഡ് സ്പിരിച്വൽ റിഫ്ലക്ഷണൽ മെസ്സേജ് ബൈ ക്രിസ്റ്റീന മോഹിനി ശ്രീനിവാസൻ Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ave Maria. Children of God, my dear brothers and sisters, I thank my Jesus, my Mary, and Radio Angelos for bringing me back to you. And I am about to share a very exciting detail about a wonderful sacrament of the Holy Catholic Church. This sacrament will put us right with God. and it is a beautiful beautiful sacrament which is not there in any other religion or denomination it is a sacrament of reconciliation are you away from church for one month two months 20 years 30 years there is good news for you that you can be reconciled to god you do not have to go through that worry that sickness that sorrow that suffering that fear which satan puts in your mind you can right now with your free will decide to reap the blessings you can right now with your free will decide to claim all the wonderful promises through christ jesus in god our father you can right now get up from wherever you are and you can walk towards a church and know understand that you are about to transform your life walk into the fullness of god and get rid of any darkness which is threatening to swallow you which is keeping you away from the clarity of mind from that wellness of body mind soul and spirit Personally I have gained a lot I have gained the kingdom of heaven because of this beautiful sacrament of reconciliation I have had innumerable spiritual experiences because of the mercy of God for me I am undeserving I am in gratitude to receive the blessing the fullness of jesus christ which we get in the sacrament i have such a gratitude problem that once i come out of the confessional i realize how merciful god is and i am ashamed of what is going on in my life in my mind but the mercy of christ is greater than my sorrow or my sin or my suffering or my sickness that it envelops me and fills me with such a joy that the world cannot understand that the world cannot comprehend my dear brothers and sisters once a saint saw satan entering into the seminary in the night and the saint promptly asked him what is he doing there in the middle of the night and he said the night is the time where he is at his busiest and the saint asked him what are you doing in the seminary he said well my job begins here and i'm really busy here trying to conquer the thoughts of the young seminarians and he said really and he was very inquisitive so he went on questioning satan do you go into the church he said oh well i enjoy my work in the church uh during mass i try to conquer the thoughts of the people i distract them i don't let them hear the reading or the sermon often my dear brothers and sisters i have heard people who leave the catholic church say to me sister jesus spoke to me in this protestant church in that protestant church and i immediately sometimes question them so you mean to say that in the mass during the three or four readings on sunday or the three readings on the weekday during the sermon the priest gives 
you have never heard the god's voice and they end up saying no and i immediately say then you were not listening properly because god always speaks to his children and when i came across this particular incident of the saint i understood why they were not able to hear god's voice and then the saint went on asking him so where all do you go do you go to the parlor he said yes and then he ended up asking him do you go to this place also and satan when he saw what place it was he jumped in fear and he ran away because that place was the confessional and he told the saint i will never be able to touch the people there because they immediately reconcile with god and once they are with god i do not have any power over them such is a confirmation we can get regarding the sacrament of reconciliation is there something bothering you is there any doubt in your mind regarding any particular area of your life then i will tell you with all confidence in christ jesus my dear brother and sister please go to the blessed sacrament today ask our lord if there is anything you have not confessed to a priest please go finish your confession and then you will see that particular area getting lighted with god's light with clarity with such ease you will be able to solve any problem any issue in your life don't worry whether the sin was there 10 years before 20 years before but please if you have not confessed please go and confess and see how your life is going to change how that mysterious sickness that mysterious problem is going to vanish right in front of your eyes and when we confess the most important thing is the penance what the priest gives when we finish the penance we are right with god you will be ready to step into the threshold that god has prepared for you and for me you can be rest assured that god is already holding your hand you will be able to feel the presence of god believe when you ask in belief everything shall be given unto you ask for that mighty experience in the confessional today pray about your confessor ask jesus to bless your confessor and believe it is not the priest who is listening to your sins but it is christ jesus himself once we had a retreat in our church in arkansas and we all had speakers coming and speaking about their very very personal issues and before every speaker comes we all pray that god will help us to listen how we were supposed to listen and god will help us understand what we were supposed to understand and it was so miraculous after every speaker comes and shared uh, his or her personal testimony the next day morning we very humanly speaking try to uh, remember what was the day like and what was the retreat we were not able to remember any personal incident the speaker spoke but only that what we learnt from the retreat we were able to remember and when we shared this with the priest the priest said that is what every priest goes through after the confessional my dear brothers and sisters if a priest is going to remember your sin and my sin and the hundreds and thousands of the people they come and they listen they are not going to be in their sound mind at all they are human beings but this power this blessing is vested by god himself so that we will be put right with god that satan will not have any power over us anymore My dear brothers and sisters I am sure that you will be frequenting this wonderful sacrament you will be emerging a victor in Christ truly truly speaking in this year of 2016 by the mercy and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ I will see you and I will talk to you again in God's time till then frequent 
this wonderful, wonderful sacrament. I am sure you are all going to keep your priests busy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ave Maria. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blood of my You are listening, made of the handmade. This is Radio Angelos, voice from heaven. Away from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. <laughs> 